It's chanted in most yoga classes. But for this group, the simple mantra is more like a sigh of relief. If you've just come out of cancer treatment, you might find like, wow, I've been holding my breath this whole time. But when cancer takes your breath away, experts say yoga can give it back to you. Taking full inhales and exhales actually helps to stimulate the immune system. Terry Gandy Richardson owns Park Slope Yoga in Brooklyn. And then let your wrists get really heavy. Like Where she and instructor Claire Patterson offer a yoga for cancer course to patients, survivors, and their families for free. Thanks to the support of the breast cancer organization, Susan G. Komen, Greater NYC. Yoga is great for anybody to do, but this particular style, Yoga for Cancer, the methodology has been devised to basically directly um, deal with the side effects from cancer treatments. There can also be a sense that your body sort of belongs to medicine, belongs to your doctors, because they did save you, but there has to be that ownership that this is your body, you also helped in that healing process, and you can continue to help in your healing and thriving process um, through the practice of yoga. Both cancer survivors themselves. I had breast cancer um, at stage two. I think when you get your cancer diagnosis, you feel like your body has betrayed you. Terry and Claire are now helping others, like Raquel Sion and Tony Pointer, to do the same. It's an incredibly alienating experience between one's self, one's mind, and one's body, and finding places where you can just be in your body with people who have a shared experience so there's a there's an immediate comfort it helped me regain my strength after my treatment um, it helped me find a community of women who've been through or, and actually there was a man in class not long ago who've been through um, something like what i've been through Medical research supports the idea that yoga helps in recovering from cancer. For more information on a free Yoga for Cancer class, log on to our website, cbsnewyork.com, where you can also register to walk in or donate to the 28th annual Race for the Cure on September 9th in Central Park, also organized by Susan G. Komen, Greater NYC. Cindy Shu, CBS2 News.